All righty, everybody. Oh, happy day. I hope you're doing insanely well. I am here today with Marco. Oh, my goodness. Crazy excited to have him with you in the audience today to introduce you to him. He went through our telemastery program, worked extremely hard, and my goodness, found success. After five hours of being on the phone, 17 leads deep, boom, takes care of a great American. So thank you, my goodness. Marco, say hey. Hey, how you doing? Doing good. Thanks for joining us. So today you got your first sale in your first five hours. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's crazy exciting. Now, have you ever done telesales before? Is this something that you've ever done? Nah, not at all. I come from like a warehouse background. So I'm mostly in warehouses, never really on the phone. So never had much phone experience. Have you had that much ex insurance experience prior to joining the agency? I did, but it was kind of with an MLN company. So it, like I started it off, got my life insurance started, but it just didn't feel right to me. So I kind of walked away from it. Oh, I understand that. And it's, I know the MLM thing is a tough one uh, to be in for sure. And I know you've gone through probably a little bit of training with the MLM type companies. I'm sure they gave you a little training, didn't they? Yeah, but the training was just involving how to recruit. Never really was about helping people or signing a policy or getting stuff started. Oh, wow. Okay. So a little different than maybe what you experienced in our five-day telemastery program, maybe a little bit. A lot different. <laughs> Now, for the audience, Marco did the hard work here, okay? Crazy proud of him. He's out there getting it done. He's taking care of great folks. And it's not necessarily an easy business, but it is simple. And when we went through our telemastery program, was I easy on anyone, including yourself, during that process? No, nah, not at all. Not at all. So it wasn't like, here's a script, see you later. We're going to spend like an hour or so together, and then we're going to bounce every day. No, that wasn't maybe the way it was. Nah, training went down for maybe a couple hours or so. It was very intense. And even after training ended, there was still stuff I had to do after training. Absolutely. Now you were doing homework and really working and you made it your business. I'm, I'm crazy proud of you. You own your success. Like success isn't one of those things where you can like, we all go from hero to zero every day anyway. But to go from like never, you've never written a telesale. You've never written insurance by phone, right? Just so the audience understands that. That's correct. Never done nothing like this before. And how did you feel when you took care of your first prospect powerfully, like the majority of folks that buy leads and get after it? How did that feel to you, knowing that you had what it took? Um, it felt great, but it felt even better that, you know, I built a connection with someone and I got to actually help someone throughout their day. And he thanked you, didn't he? At the end of that sale. Oh, yeah. Yep. He thanked me very much. Yeah, he was very grateful and very happy. Isn't that crazy? It's like, it had. did anyone ever thank you from your last starter company ever for selling him insurance or talking to him? Not at all. Not even close. And it's like, what we do is obviously a little different than maybe the last MLM place that you came from. Mm -hmm. Um Obviously, our culture is a little different and, you know, you're doing the great work. And w did you feel pretty confident? Like once you were trained, you knew how to handle the objections and the script. You did amazing work. I mean, in class and everything that we did in our program. But did you feel pretty prepared to get on the phone and take care of these great prospects? Yeah, the yeah, the training got me ready um, pretty well. Um, there were some things that. I kind of like brain farted on, but besides that, I just remember the training and just kept pushing forward. We were swallowing in an elephant together going five days deep. I mean, we definitely were. We do it one bite at a time, everyone, but we were, and you were doing the hard work. That's why we've got so much homework, you know, even after class, but to be in an environment where you can take care of someone, there's a lot of moving parts because you've got all these different companies, but yet Marco here knew what to do and took a prospect from zero to the finish line and i'm proud of you that ain't is what everybody else has in their uh in their rear view mirror and for the audience to understand not everybody makes it in the insurance industry not everybody makes it okay 90 plus percent of agents fail in this industry sometimes they fail for a lack of training they don't know what they're doing like marco when you first started like they were more on like recruit 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 right they weren't yeah. focusing on the training aspect Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was mostly just about recruiting. And once you got to the point to where when you got to sit down with someone, it's like, oh, man, what do I do next? Like you feel lost. 
And that's no way to to win. And I think that attributes to a lot of agent failure. Sometimes it's scary, right? Like when you got up this morning and you got on your phone, you were prepared for sure. You went through the paces five days of training, but it's still, did that phone feel a little heavy for your first call? Just a wee bit, which is normal if it did, but that's all right. I'm just curious. Oh yeah. My heart was beating. I had the butterflies in my stomach and part of me was like, oh, please don't answer. Oh, they answered. All right, here we go. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like saddle up, right? It's like and everybody, I think any agent can relate to your experience when we're new, but you've got the courage. And that's why a lot of folks, even though they're trained, some agents will never pick up that 9,000 pound phone. Mm-hmm. And it's just because it's scary sometimes. That's a reason some agents fail, even that are trained. They just don't buy leads. And if they buy leads, they don't pick up the phone. It's shocking to me. But to do those paths okay in the the processes that you did that the successful people have done before you and that you've done i mean the fact that you've taken care of people so quickly and we've got lots of other agents that have graduated recently that i'm going to interview on the channel as well amazing success and agents that buy leads and that get after it high success rate it's not normal but most agents don't go through the level of training and the level of hard work that you've gone through marco like you were every day coming back to class, be like, all right, man, I practiced, weren't you? <laughs> you were right, ready. I was ready. Yeah. Even, um, I was practicing with my lady. So there were times where I was even annoying her. Cause I was like, I got to get good at this. This is not, a, I'm got to get good. It's not a choice. Absolutely. And we didn't train soft. Did I train a veteran in our group, right? That we were training in that graduating class. Did I train mm-hmm. a veteran any different? Did I treat him any different than I treated you in class? Just so the audience understands this. No, honestly, I felt as if we were all new. I didn't even know anyone was really a veteran to like the very end of class, like day five. And I'm just like, oh, man, all these guys are veterans. Like, I didn't even know that. I thought we were all brand new to this. What happened if someone didn't do things right? What was said, maybe? Oh, yo, you would be on them like that. There was no hesitation. And you make sure that you fix them, corrected them. And then you're like, all right, right back to it. Try again. It's not that anyone's doing maybe something that's like off, right? But if, mm. if someone isn't doing something that's right, we're just going to do it again and we're going to do it again and we're going to do it again. And there's times where somebody else is like the point man and they do just amazing work. And it's like, yeah, we're going to celebrate that. But if something happens where it's off, we have to fix it quickly because the last thing you want to do is to spend money on leads and then get your, okay, lunch handed to you and says pack it see ya like that's a painful experience it's painful enough right when you're you're paying money for leads and you're like oh man i hope i sell something (laughs) it's like like success isn't guaranteed it's rented every day (laughs) for sure Hmm. was it a little nervous like when it's like oh man you bought leads oh am i gonna make it am i gonna sell like obviously you're a little nervous when you pick up your phone how was it like when you were on that phone and you finally closed your first piece of business so quickly um oh it was exciting but yeah it it kind of was like nervous some, but um, I just made sure that, you know, just just stick to what you know, stick to the training, stick to what you've learned. And if you have trust in the training, it'll guide you to the promised land. And so that's kind of what it did. I just followed and then it boom, pushed me to the promised land. And then I was able to help someone and it, it felt so good. Like it was a crazy experience. And it, uh, I'm, I'm happy at the end of the day that I was able to help someone. That's so awesome. The fact that, you know, your lady's got to be proud of you big time. I mean, it's like you did the work you did. So now I'm not just excited for you, Marco. It, you're just going to keep getting better. It's, it's amazing hard work. It really is like, it is hard work, everyone. It's not okay. It's not easy, simple. Yes, but it's not easy. Like to go through what Marco went through and then he's doing the heavy lifting he's picking up that phone he's helping great folks that need him and he's having clients thank him now because they're his clients he's guarded a family today in only five hours you were only 17 leads deep when you got your first sale is that correct 17 leads deep that was as many leads as you went through in all those hours and on 17 pop that's when you got your first um, prospect that turned into a sale is that right that family you helped? Yep, that's correct that's amazing Okay, there's there's a lot of agents that will never find success in this industry. Okay, sometimes through no fault of their own. Maybe they don't believe in themselves. Maybe they aren't trained right. Maybe they're given a free script. They fail out. Um, even agents that are fully trained, everyone, just so you're not shined on. Let me tell you, there's folks that are fully trained and never buy a single lead. It's nuts, right? 
it happens, but the successful are willing to do what the unsuccessful are never willing to do, to do the hard work, to do the, the work and the reps, like what Marco here did and the other great agents in Jason final expense. Okay. Do every day I run a national insurance agency. I'm insanely proud of Marco and every man and woman that partners in the agency. Um, if anybody needs help, reach out jasonfinalexpense.com. We've got a, a great work family, but Marco, when you needed me, Okay. Anytime you've been on the phone or anytime you've got a question, how long does it typically take you to get a hold of me? Just for the audience to understand, because there's a lot of other MLMs and agencies out there that may take a little bit to get back. How long does it take you to get a hold of me when you needed me? Honestly, probably maybe like the phone rang maybe about four times and you picked up. If you were busy, you replied back within like 30 seconds. Like, so it was, it was pretty fast and immediate. I mean, what we do matters and what you're doing, right? If you're going to work, I got you. doesn't matter if it's a weekend. Did you call on the weekend? I can't remember. It's been, it, I worked a lot on the weekend. I can't remember, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> but it's like, I've had agents that call me on the weekend. It's like, I just pick up my phone. Let's go. Like it, we have a work family. Our culture is important. And even our culture in class, it's fun. It's like you finished out of like a high school class when we're done. Would you agree with that? As you went yeah, through? Yeah, I threw my papers everywhere and it felt good. <laughs> Heck yeah, right? <laughs> I know we gotta get it tasseled. Maybe we'll figure that out sometime. But yeah, crazy proud of you. We'll continue just doing the great work. Hats off to you. You're gonna rest well tonight, sleep good. You're continuing to take care of great people. And I appreciate your hard work and all your heavy lifting. And my goodness, uh, the sky's the limit now. So everybody, thanks for watching. Marco, I'll let you lead us out, brother. Thanks for watching. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Have a, have a good one, everybody. Have a great day tomorrow. If you need help, reach out. Bye-bye. <laughs>